Hello and welcome to the last of the notable hurricanes from the 2004 hurricane season. This last one here is Hurricane Jean. Hurricane Jean, as you can see, had quite an interesting track, but we are always going to start at the very beginning of it, starting off on September 13th, TD-11 forms. TD-11 forms 110 kilometers to the east-southeast of Guadalupe. By the next day, and as it is moving over the Leeward Islands, this tropical depression becomes a tropical storm and therefore also gains the name Jean. By the 16th of September, Jean has now become a hurricane However, we do see this uh, darker blue dot just above uh, Haiti there. That is actually when it became a depression for a very brief time. This was due to the, well, Dominican Republic and Haiti kind of in the way of uh, inflow, given the way that uh, low pressures suck in air in the northern hemisphere counterclockwise. All that air is going over the landmass and causing it to not to be beneficial, so for that brief time, Jean went from a hurricane back to a depression. Although at this point, I do believe that it still did keep the name of Jean as a depression, but I digress. Before this, before becoming a hurricane, that is, uh, Jean actually made landfall as a very strong tropical storm on Yabucoa in Puerto Rico and was just barely scraping along the coast of the Eastern Dominican Republic. After becoming a depression and then becoming a s tropical storm yet again, a sharp turn northwards happens, as you can see here, and then a loop starts. Right around the point this loop starts, Jean finally becomes a hurricane again, and her loop is completed on September 23rd. Jean would then take a straight shot towards Florida and peaked on September 25th with winds of 120 miles per hour, middle of the road, category 3 intensity, and achieved a minimum pressure at the, around the same time of 950 millibars. By very late the same day, we're talking 1150 at night or 2350. This is Eastern Daylight Time as well. Jean would make landfall exactly where uh, Hurricane Francis had done so before, on Port St. Lucie, Florida. Jean did so at maximum strength and pretty quickly would degrade and then take a straight shot back out into the Pacific. Or sorry, Atlantic. That's the Atlantic. That's the Atlantic. I apologize. <laughs> Jean would cause an immense amount of deaths at 3,037 deaths. This is this makes Jean one of the deadliest 21st century tropical storms, and Jean would also cause just under eight billion dollars in damage. We see our rainfall amounts. Uh, over here on the right, as well as some miscellaneous damage photos here. Uh, Jean would cause numerous landslides and tons of flooding in northwestern Haiti, despite not ever making landfall on Haiti itself. Jean would drop 300 millimeters of rain in Guadalupe, 375 on the island of Vaquez. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. 330 millimeters of rain in Haiti, and 304 millimeters of rain in the U.S. Uh, the maximum was around, over the course of three days, around 625 millimeters, and this was also on the island of uh, Vic on, uh, Vicuez. Again, apologies if I pronounced it wrong there. <laughs> in the community of of uh, Geonives or Gonives. Uh, also, apologies, I pronounced that wrong there. Uh, this this small community in Haiti would lose 2,826 people, which is absolutely devastating to even just think about. That's just that's just in one community, which is mind blowing. 
also in Haiti, the rice and fruit crop was completely destroyed. There was there was there was nothing that was left after Jean, unfortunately. Uh, going a little bit back in time uh, to land falling on Puerto Rico, nearly every single wind report uh, that was recorded in Puerto Rico was just below hurricane strength. We're talking around 73, 72, 70 uh, miles per hour. The grade for category one, or where category one starts at, I should say, is a 74, so again, very close. Upon landfall, skipping forward here, uh, tides were around 10 whole feet above normal. That's around 3 meters above average for the tides, both low and high. And Jean would leave millions in Florida without power, some for the fourth time that year, which is pretty insane. Uh, Jean is a little notable for having a pretty slow pace for most of its life. We're talking anywhere of only around 5 to around 12 miles per hour, which usually you do see some speeding up, um, but Jean did not do this. We would also see that despite this slow forward speed, the loop that Jean did caused a ca caused the preparation in Florida to be relatively rushed because with this loop this made the track of gene extremely uncertain you don't know if the storm is just going to you know hell loop again or just continue outwards further into the into the Atlantic but as we saw with gene's path it just made a straight beeline towards Florida after completing the loop this is also one of the few times that an evacuation to the Keys, the Florida Keys that is, actually made sense <laughs> for once. And again, like I mentioned, uh, Jean would make landfall exactly where Hurricane Francis had done so before. This is, again, like I mentioned before, the first time in recorded Atlantic hurricane season history that two storms within the same season had landfall in the exact same spot. And in fact, Jean would follow Francis's path extremely closely. Uh, this is emphasized down here at the bottom right. This blue path is um, Ivan. This uh, green path is Francis. And the brown path here is Francis. Sorry, sorry, is Jean. Lastly, Jean would be the last of the storms this season to have its name uh, retired. And so therefore, with the retirement of a name, you have to replace a name. And in this case, Jean would be replaced with the name of Julia. With that being said, folks, that is all that I have for Hurricane Jean. A devastating storm. Again, one that is one of the deadliest 21st century tropical storms, which is absolutely insane. But that's all that I have for, again, for Hurricane Jean. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and learned something from this, and I will see you in the next one. I thank you all so much for watching.